All right. Well, what we got is the beginning of the couch. These are uh, just two by four set up for now. We have uh, studs going across. In the end, we will have studs going, or uh, two by fours going all the way across the top. This was the beginning steps that we took in doing furniture for the bus. We basically have a couch in the front with three sets of chairs and tables. Pretty much where the wheel wells start on back is where the kitchen and the bunk beds and the bathroom are. All of the furniture is 2x4 construction with 3 quarter inch plywood for toppers for the seats and the beds. Every piece of furniture was built separate from the floor and allowed us to kind of make sure everything was going to fit in place before we decided to tie everything down. When designing the floor plan for the bus, we went through probably three or four different interpretations. We wanted to make sure that it was open and we wanted to see if we could get the seating low enough so that you couldn't see it through the windows. And this is what ended up working best for us. All right, so this is as far as we've gotten this weekend. We've got the couch and five chairs done. And then here are our two bunk beds. We've got everything tied in. We do not have it to the floor yet. We're going to wait until we get the rest of the furniture done. We've got our posts set at uh, 34 and 3 quarters for then an uh, inch and a half board to be on top to give the final top uh, of the bunk bed. We'll have cushions that will make it up higher than that. Um, so we had a lot of fun with this wheel well. This is probably the, the most difficult part. Uh, a lot of deliberating and figuring out the best route to take. Um, we were trying our hardest to avoid putting a lot of strain on the wheel well, but there, as you can see, we do have two boards that have some weight distributed on it. Uh, we think it's going to be very minimal. Um, but then we built part of this chair set up uh, along with the bunk beds as one whole piece. We use... Uh, two and a half inch screws, wood screws, along everything here. And uh, yeah, so next weekend our plan is to get the, the last chair, the counter for the kitchen, and then our storage room slash future bathroom. And uh, yeah, that's what we got so far. What we got here is the bunk bed setup. And we just now got done cutting all of the pieces. We're going to assemble it um, off onto the side here and then bring it up and screw everything into the posts and the wall. So we've got bunk bed number one, which is just short of eight feet, and then bunk bed number two, which is a little bit shorter, but also at an angle to help us with having the pathway out to the uh, exit here. We have our studs for the wall here. So these are going to go up and then we're going to have our 2x4 set up on top. And then we've got these braces that are going to go through here and meet up with those posts. And uh, So yeah, once again this will be all one giant piece. It will be on the floor. We'll have it all drilled up and it's as simple as grab the whole unit, throw it up top, and get everything in place. Recording, right? There we go. One, two, perfect seconds. <laughs> All right. Here it is. The bunk with the curve down at the end for the uh, to fit the emergency door, and the framing all along here, tied into the wall, and get super stout. All right. When are you guys are ready, go ahead. And... Right there. Backwards. Oh, yep, they are backwards. <laughs> Terrible. All right, Terrible. so from the Terrible. from the start, just in case you want to cut it out, here it is. Yeah. Back again. Glad we figured that out before it was too late. That would have been nasty. And here, here we have it. With a bent 2x4 to make up for that. Nice. All ties in quite nicely. This will be four bunks and four people. 
So the total amount of seating on the bus is about 16 people comfortably amongst two, a chair, and the couch. And then we have a total sleeping amount of eight people. That's the four bunk beds, the couch, and then the table chair combos that can turn into beds. What we've got now is the counter done. We took the rest of the night to work on this, and uh, so far it looks good. Uh, what we have is first off, the seat is built in. Right here is kind of be like an extra shelf with some storage space going in. After that, we're going to have our countertop. Our plan is to have our range, some blank countertop, and then our sink. We plan on having a fridge and a microwave underneath with some drawers and cupboards and everything else like that. We also integrated part of the bathroom into the counter, and uh, we're going to finish this at a later time. But uh, in the meantime, this is what we've got. We, uh, our next step is to place... Uh, OSB onto all of our uh, chairs and couch and beds. What we got now is uh, we've got the bunk beds all finished off on the top as well as on the bottom here. And uh, we have uh, hinges in place currently so you can open and close underneath. So if you have uh, storage you need for clothes or other equipment, you can. Uh, places under there. Uh, we have this in line with the windows so the windows can still be opened and shut. What we have now over here are our couch and our chairs all finished, at least for the tops. Uh, we have hinges on all of these as well for storage space. All you gotta do is take the cushion out of the way, lift up, and there you go. We um, also have this idea for a table bed combo. Uh, we've seen it on YouTube a few times and we've decided, you know what, we're going to try this out as well. So the idea is this is going to have a way to come up and hook into the wall and that will be our table. And then when it's time to you know, head in for the night, you can just take it down and place it here. And then you have a full length bed. Um, we've got this at two feet depth for a chair with a three foot table and then another two foot chair for a total of seven feet along the whole length. We have here uh, the couch. The couch is a total of about, it's a little more than eight feet long for the couch. to be able to hold a lot of people. Um, all storage compartments. So where I work, I am very fortunate to have a lot of different machines at my disposal. And so what you see here is a serger machine that's allowing me to make cushions for the bus. I'm making covers to kind of hold the foam together. And then we have future covers made that are more for protection uh, from water damage and sun. And once again, thank you for watching.